Good morning, good morning guys. Wanted to start out this video super quickly inside. We're gonna head into the car and I'll kind of explain what today's plan is, but before we do that, I wanted to give you guys an outfit of the day. So, top is just this plain white shirt from Amazon. I wish this were a bodysuit, but it's not, so I tucked it in, but it's kind of like bunchy, which I don't like, but whatever. Um, glasses are also Amazon. Jeans are Zara. They're like a wide, or like, would you say wide leg? I don't know if that's straight or wide leg, but black jeans. And then shoes are my Nikes. I'm obsessed with these. I wear them so much. Um, I'm gonna grab, I don't know what purse I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna do, I literally have all my purses stuffed here. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, I'm making a mess. Um, I'm gonna do this one because this one can go across my body. Like, I'll wear it like this. And um, I wanna have my hands free for where we're going. So, yeah, I think this is gonna be the fit. I'll throw on like a puffer or something and it'd be super comfy and feel good. You know? So, plan for today. Hold on, I'm like getting all settled. I'm actually heading to the, well, let me back up. Happy whatever day it is when you're seeing this. I don't know what day it'll be. Um, it is Thursday for me. Yusuf actually left today to go to Texas. He's going to see some family and I was gonna go, but I didn't wanna board Sully again because he was just boarded when we went to Florida. Um, so I stayed back with Sully, so we're just hanging out. It's actually the first time that I am like at our apartment and Yusuf's not, because I've gone to Florida alone and he's been like alone here, but I never have. So uh, yeah, it'll be like a few days without him, which it's gonna be like, I'm gonna miss him of course, but I also like really love my alone time. I used to live alone, like before this apartment, I lived alone in a different apartment um, by myself and then I had Sully for a few months but even before I got Sully I was like completely alone that's a whole different story but I like being alone so um, yeah it'll be a nice few days I'm excited for him to be able to like be with his family and that is kind of what's going on I have plans with a friend tomorrow night she's gonna come over and um, yeah anyway okay I'm getting sidetracked but of course I am gonna miss him so Yusuf if you're watching this I do miss you I'm heading to the thrift store is what I'm trying to say I haven't been to the thrift store in a while and I've been really wanting to go so we're gonna head there just like shop around walk around and just see what we can find I'm not I don't really need anything but I always like to like look there I think it's just fun and if I'm gonna buy clothes which I actually haven't been buying a ton of clothes but if I'm going to then I might as well do it where it's a affordable and b sustainable you know so that's the plan I'll bring you guys in with me I hope there's not too many people there you guys know how I'm really good at vlogging in public when there's other people around so I'm excited okay I'm so blabby. I'm at Sabres. I have done such a terrible job filming. I'm embarrassed because there's so many people in here that I came to a corner where there's like nobody. But I have found some good stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I found some really good stuff. I'll show you when we get home. Um, one of the things I found, I'm so excited about, but I need to go through everything and see what I want to keep and see what I don't. I'm gonna do that now. you guys a haul of everything I got yes I did a terrible job filming in there are we surprised no not even gonna just not even paying attention to it okay I'm gonna start off with the best thing I am so excited about this I think it is such a good find um well it is a good find it's a real okay let me just show you it is this leather coat I wanted like a leather blazer leather coat for a while but I don't like I think I'll wear it a lot but I didn't want to spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one because I don't have, like, I don't know. I just wasn't sure how often I'd wear it. I didn't want to, like, really invest in one. But I did want, like, a nice leather coat. And so I found this one. And where is it? If you look at the tag, it is 100% genuine leather, which is amazing. It was 20 bucks. Um, and it fits me really well. I tried it on while I was there. It's in such good condition. Like, it pretty much looks brand new. This button is a little bit loose. But other than that, it's in, like, 
perfect condition it has a little like belt that you can tie around your waist it's super cute i need to like well this i don't i know i can't put this in the washing machine but everything else i need to um like wash before i try on and then i'll either show you in this video or i'll show it in a different video that was the first thing i got super excited about that i think that was such a good find the next thing i got is this it's very basic pretty boring but i almost bought one of these on amazon the other day and then i found this one and i was like well if i can buy second hand why not so it's just like a um, quarter zip up it's gray it's by the brand john gaft i don't know if that's what it is it's hard to read the tag but i know they used to sell this brand at brandy melville which i don't shop at because i don't really like support them but i got this anyway so yeah anyway grab that um also grab another set shirt which is this one this was another really good find this is a oh i just saw there's something on the back hopefully that will come off in the wash if not you can't really tell but it's an adidas sweatshirt it's in this like nice green color it is just like super simple a basic zip up it's in really nice condition other than what i just saw on the back but i loved the back of it it says adidas down it and then if you guys can tell that's the thing i'm talking about but i mean like normally when i wear i'll have the hood up or hood down so you won't be able to see that but i just thought this was like super super cute oh i just realized <laughs> I probably should have looked at this stuff better, but I also just realized the zipper is like missing the end. It looks like, I don't know, maybe like a dog. I hope that was a dog and not someone chewing on their own zipper. That needs to be washed. Next, I grabbed these shorts. So random, to be honest. They're just like basically biker shorts, but I just like liked them. I don't know why. I saw it has like this little logo and it says Boathouse on them. And like, did I need these? No. But I just weirdly liked that logo and like with a um, sweatshirt or something, even like this quarter zip, a pair of sneakers. I don't know. I feel like that's a cute little loungy outfit for home. I also grabbed this white shirt. I don't know how this is going to look, to be honest. Um, this might have been, I don't know. I feel like it's cute, but I just like the square neckline. It's just a white long sleeve. Um, it's like flowy, which I feel like I don't wear a ton of like flowy stuff. Well, I do, but not like this typically but yeah i just thought that was cute i thought i could tuck it into jeans or something again i need to try this on but i need to obviously wash it first so we'll see how that turns out it's by the brand max studio london where have i seen that brand td max i don't remember i feel like i've seen that though and then two last things first i got this again just like a super loungy comfortable top it's a gray almost like waffly ribbed um fabric hello and it's just like really big and oversized i thought you could like wear it off the shoulder it has long sleeves and just a good loungy piece again and then lastly i grabbed this which is from j crew it's an oatmeal little sweater but i just liked the um neckline it's like roughly and i thought that would be super cute you could also wear it like under things and it would be looking cute so yeah, picked that up and that is everything that I grabbed. The total of everything was 60 bucks, which I feel like is kind of a lot for the thrift store, but the leather jacket was 20 bucks because it's like real leather and then everything else just like added up. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I, like I said, 500 times, I need to wash everything. So I'm gonna throw that in the laundry. I actually need to switch the laundry right now. So let's do that. Good job, Bubby. I am just about to head down to the gym. I am wearing this Set Active set. Um, I don't know if they still have this color, but it's in, I think it's called Espresso. This is their Sculpt Flex, Sculpt Flex fabric. The sports bra is like the, I think it's the Box X cut or something like that. And then just like the regular leggings. I'm wearing socks and my Nike Metcons, favorite workout shoes of all time. I get that question a weird amount and um, I'm 99 actually not even i'm always wearing these shoes if i'm working out but we are doing full body today i honestly don't really want to go that badly but i know i'll be happy when i'm done um and i'm going to do a sammy clark workout i've been doing hers a lot you guys know this i've been loving them so that's the plan if there's no one down there then i'll film a little bit of it for you guys um but yeah let's go get a workout in if you weren't sure if you wanted to work out today or if you were like no i'm just gonna like skip it this is your sign go do it you'll be happy you did i'll be proud of you you'll be proud of you but also if you need a day to rest, it's okay to rest. Okay, let's go.
just finished and I am dying. So the workout I just did, I'll link it down below because like I said, it's Sammy Clark's, but um, there were three rounds in it. I look terrible. There were three rounds and then there was like a five minute burnout at the end. So each round of like full body work was, I don't know, like eight minutes long or something. And after the first round, I, I was about to walk out of here. I was about to quit. And then, I don't know, my body's really sore for some reason. Like my hamstrings are really tight. My, my arms are sore, but that makes sense because I did upper body. But for some reason, my hamstrings are tight. I don't really know why I didn't do legs. I haven't done legs for a few days. Um, but yeah, I was about to walk out after the first set and then I was like, no, just finish. You'll be so happy you did. And I'm so glad I did. I knew if I had walked out, I would have been like overthinking that decision all night or for the rest of the day and stuff, which I've definitely done that before. Like I have quit a workout, uh, midway through and it's like, I don't know, I feel like I go back and forth between like the mentality of I'm blabbing for a second, but I just want to talk about this really quickly. Between the mentality of like you came here and you did some of it and like that's better than nothing. So like if your body really is too tired, then you can walk out. But I think there's also a difference between like actually your body needing a rest and you just being like not wanting to continue. You know what I mean? Like and almost like being lazy in that sense, or at least like that's how I am. Like my I feel like sorry, I'm ranting. I need to put this down because my arm is hurting. Um Okay, whatever. I'll just hold you guys, but I don't know. I'll end this topic quickly, but I just feel like I've learned that my body is capable of doing so much more than like I think it can or like finishing a workout that's really hard and I didn't think I could do or whatever the case may be. And I used to like give up or I would like put the weight down or I don't know. More often than not, I would just like give up. Whereas now I'm learning to like modify, and I feel like a lot of that has been because I do Sammy Clark workouts, and she's always saying like just keep moving, keep moving, don't give up. So yeah, this is just a movement of me being proud of myself, basically. And I just realized I was zoomed in that entire time. That's why I was like up in my face. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this mat away, those weights away, and we're gonna head back. I don't want to wash my hair because I just washed it last night and straightened it like fresh this morning. But I'm gonna do a body shower because I am so. Gross. Okie dokie. It has been, I look like a dead human. Okie dokie, guys. It's been a while. It's a few hours later. It's now 7 12 p.m. I was, what was I doing? <laughs> I was just getting some computer work done and then I played with Sully for a little bit and was just hanging out with him. I also just cooked some dinner. I made some pasta with spinach and chicken sausage and I made like my own sauce with it. It was really good actually. And I also just cleaned up from dinner and I am about to fold this mound of laundry behind me. So that's what the rest of the night entails crazy night i know but i figured i would end up this video with a super mini amazon little haul there's only two things and i already actually really showed you one of them but i figured i would just show you again anyway so first ones are the glasses that i was wearing earlier today they look really good on me especially right now no but these are from amazon like i said i think they're super cute i wanted some like thinner glasses but i also don't know how often i'm actually gonna wear these and i don't really think they actually look good on me so um i wanted to get like a cheaper pair they're just like the ones i got from tj maxx the other day if you saw that video these are basically just like them except these are black and the other ones are um tortoise shell so picked these up which you guys already saw earlier today and then the other thing i grabbed which i have weirdly been wanting for so long i feel like i saw them what is my hair doing i saw it all over um TikTok, I feel like I've definitely seen them on Instagram. They're just like kind of everywhere. And they are like the smiley face slippers. So I finally grabbed some. I think these are like a, I don't know if there is like a designer brand that makes them or if it's just like everyone has started making them or if there was like an original. I mean, I'm sure there was. I don't really know the story. I also don't really care about the story, but I wanted smiley face slippers. Easy for me to say. I wanted smiley face slippers. That's really hard. I got these. And I think they're cute. They have a few different colorways. I can link both these and the sunglasses down below. Um, but I think they're really cute. They fit me really well. I don't remember what size I got, but again, I'll link it down below. And then it actually came with little socks with smiley faces on them, which I didn't really care about. I just wanted the slippers, but I love them. As you can tell, they actually are really like nice inside. So I am excited to wear these. I haven't worn them yet because I didn't want to like show you a dirty pair of slippers, you know? That's my little Amazon haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna end it off here like I said. This is Sully right now, enjoying his peanut butter. So we are just gonna be hanging out. Two pals for the rest of the night. Um, you're not gonna be missing anything. Oh my god. I really wanna watch Criminal Minds, but I don't wanna watch it when I'm home alone because I'll probably get scared. So I had to figure out what to watch. But anyway, I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.